guys, it's Missy from Shimmers, and today I'm going to show you a fun technique that you can do with most of your Shimmers products and an acrylic stamping block, and mine is well used and very stained, but it works perfectly. So these are four different shades of colorings, and this is no yoking that I'm going to start with, and I'm just going to take the acrylic block and spray some of the colorings on top of it, and then I'm going to come in with a second color. This is pretty in pink. And I'm going to blend them using this acrylic block. And this is going to create pinks, yellows, and even some oranges. And I'm just going to treat it like a stamp. You just turn it over and watch how the colors blend out. They're very, very pretty. And you're going to get a little pull there. And so what you want to do is just take the block and keep stamping and pressing down. And you're going to see the liquid smush under it and they're going to blend together to create a couple of different shades. Now I'm going to come back in with some yellow just to add a little more yellow to this side and you're going to see some reds form and some oranges form. And this is a really really easy and fun technique if you want to get another watercolor look. And it's a it's a very controlled look because it's not going to go outside of the acrylic block when you stamp, depending on how much you spray on it. And you can see how fun that was and how easy it was. And you can see all the different blended colors there. Very easy to do. And you can do this on any shape acrylic block you may have. Now I'm going to do a couple of different other colors here. This is Heidi Ho Blue and Well Blow Me Down. And it's a, a royal bright blue color and a pretty greenish teal color. I love watching the colors smush together. That's the term I like to use, smush. Because you're pressing down and smushing it and the colors just flow. And this is fun. You could do your entire background this way. You could do a part of it. This would be great for a background for a layout or a card. And this is just an alternative to using a brush or the packaging technique. And it just gives it a little bit of a square look there. It's very cool. So here are the still shots of those backgrounds that I just created. I hope you give this a try if you have a stamping block. It's really fun and easy. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you.